Yo, what is good, everybody? It's KJ, and I am back, and we are here for PDD Week 7. So we are kind of in the driver's seat for a playoff spot, which is super, super hype. Um, we do, however, need to... If we win out, we're in. Like, no, no questions asked. We're in if we win out. If we win one and lose one, we can still make it in because we have a pretty good differential, but we would have to make sure that we don't, like, get blown out in one of these games. So we'll see what happens. But this week... We are facing Bruno. So I played Bruno in PPL Bolt Flare quarterfinals, and I lost. So that was that was really big. He had a really good lead, and I threw away my Ogre Pawn, and then like I could not break his defensive core with the Iron Hands and the Vaporeon. It was it was rough. It was rough for me. But we're trying to get some revenge here, right? So you're gonna see his team on the screen right now, and. I think we have a pretty good matchup. I do think we have a pretty good matchup. You can see the mons that I'm bringing. Obviously, I'll go through them one by one. But you can also see what I think he's going to bring. And it's funny. His number one pick was Dragapult. I think I have a really good Dragapult matchup. Dragapult not getting Steel Wing anymore is really big for me. I have, obviously, Grimmsnarl to be able to set the screens. Like, I have a pretty solid Dragapult matchup, in my opinion. He could still bring it because Dragapult is a just super cracked mon. And it's, it's one of those mons where you can force the matchup, right? But anyway, I'm going to get into my team really quick so that we can kind of move on and jump into the game. So we are bringing Delphox again. Delphox has been one of the MVPs of the team. We got Heavy Duty Boots, and we're actually running some heat this week on the Delphox. So obviously, Scorching Sands and Flamethrower makes sense, but we are Psychic Terrain and Expanding Force. Now, the reason we are Psychic Terrain, and you're going to say like, oh my goodness, that's going to block your Triage, or that's going to block your Prankster, or even your Ice Shard on Baxcalibur, potentially. But, I am much more afraid of, say, Vacuum Wave from Braviary, or even Sucker Punch from the Cinderace, or from the Muck, or from <laughs> the freaking um, Dragapult, or even Grassy Glide from the wacky that he could bring that we used to have, right? So overall, I think having Psychic Terrain to build a block priority is really nice. And yeah, it, it gives us a kind of an answer to, or a preventative answer for the ter potential Terra fighting Tinted Lens Vacuum Wave coming from the Braviary Hisui. So... And obviously going Expanding Force because like Expanding Force in Terrain is going to hit super hard. So yeah, I'm kind of leaning into the bit of it. But that is the Delphox. We also are bringing our Combefei. So we are Terror Ground this week. And honestly, this is our win con. This thing, once his team is chipped down, this thing obliterates him. Like we can set up on Dragapult, which is really nice. Um, assuming it's not like T-Wave. But if he's T-Wave, then like he also kind of has to be... He would kind of have to be like dual status. It'd be a weird set. It'd be a really weird set. But anyway, this thing is coming out after terrain is gone and all that good stuff. And it just hits the team. It hits the team super hard. Like this is going to be very, very helpful. If he is, if he does end up being Terra Fairy on the Braviary, then like we have Draining Kiss, which is really nice. So yeah, I think, or Terra Fighting rather. Uh, so yeah, I, I, this is kind of, this is kind of the Mon I think is going to be our win con. Next, we are leaning into the Psychic Terrain bit a little more, and we are bringing Psychic Seed Sneasler. So hopefully we get the Psychic Terrain off, and then we can get Sneasler in pretty cleanly, get the Psychic Seed, and then hopefully set up and just click buttons, right? That's what Sneasler wants to do here, and it does outspeed everything if we can pop on Burden and be in a good spot. So I'm looking forward to this. I do think Sneasler has a pretty good matchup in this. Uh, I'm curious to see like what he'll do in response to this, but overall, I'm pretty excited for this. Next, we have kind of like the glue of the team this week, which makes sense because we are bringing a pretty offensive team, and that is Light Clay on the Grimmsnarl. This is also going to be our lead. Um, we are Play Rough just because Play Rough hits the Muck Alola pretty hard and also is going to be able to obliterate the Dragapult. We do have Light Screen and Reflect because we are Light Clay and then Parting Shot. I, I kind of struggled with this because I wanted Parting Shot, but I also wanted Crunch. Uh, unfortunately, Grimmsnarl does not get Darkest Lariat anymore, but yeah, I wanted Crunch here as well, but I figured Play Rough just was good enough. Um, we can Parting Shot out on stuff, and yeah, it'll be it'll be good. We do have to watch out about trying to Parting Shot on the Muck, but I think this is going to be our lead, like I said, and we're just going to get 
whatever screen up that is in front that isn't like right in front of us um or we're gonna get whatever screen up of the mon that is in front of us so if there's a special attacker in front of us we'll go with light screen if there's a physical attacker we'll go with the reflect and yeah i'm i'm, I'm really scared i'm really scared of this team even though i feel like i have a pretty good matchup into it next we do have the back we, we have to be choppel very like so much on this team gets this ends up getting fighting coverage but like Dual stab is just really good, and then having the ability to ice shard just to kind of pick something off is also really nice. So, this was kind of just the route that I figured was the best to go. If we do get a dragon dance off, we are hitting stuff really hard. We are EV'd to outspeed Rotom, so that is something to keep in mind. Um, and at plus one, yeah, we're faster than pretty much everything, and we can just kind of push buttons. So, that'll be really nice. And then last, but certainly not least, we are bringing... Donphan. So Donphan is lefties. I thought about maybe like a Lumberry because this is our kind of Cinderace check, unfortunately. Like, it's not going to be great. This, yeah, it's going to be rough. Like, Cinderace is really good into our team as well, which is, is a little bit of a struggle, uh, especially because it was hard for me to bring Blastoise this week. So, yeah, we, we do have Rocks on this. We do have Spin. I was going to be Energy Ball, but, uh, but I honestly decided Spin was just better because uh, I don't really want to be staying in on Rotom. Um, we are EQ and then knock. So getting able, being able to get rid of things items is really nice. And yeah, so that is the squad. We're going to get connected to Bruno very shortly and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. So I was right. No Dragapult, but we do see an Ooxie, which means also no Braviary. Whew. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I still like the, uh, the terrain idea. I think terrain is actually still really good. Um, I do kind of want to just lead Grimmsnarl. Nothing can stop our parting shots other than Muck. So if he leads Muck, we immediately get a, um, we immediately get a reflect up and then we can just kind of attack it. Yeah. I think having Grimmsnarl here is going to be really nice. So we do have to be careful because Muck could be Brick Break. So that is something to also keep in mind. Um... But yeah, let's let's do this. I I kind of think Muck could be like AV with Brick Break. Uh, I'm not really sure. So let's do this. Okay, he goes into Wash. He goes into Rotom Wash. Um, we pivot on this. We parting shot on this every time. This could be Trick. This is probably Trick. Um, shout out to Killua for pointing that out to me. In Because, yeah, Trick could be really scary. Um, I'm not really sure what his answer... I'm just going to go into Bax. I'm going to go into Bax. I think Bax is just really good here. This is probably Trick. Like, but nothing else wants to lose this item. He's Volt Switches. Okay. We're going to get to see what his Bax answer is. Low-key hoping it's Cinderace. <laughs> um, Low-key hoping that he brings in Cinderace here. But this could be, like, Encore Uxie. This could also be... What are the terror types on the Florgis? Okay, the Florgis terror types are... I think it's Fairy, Poison... Fairy, Poison, Fire. So... I do think we want to switch out on this. I think we go into our Delphox here. Because whatever he wants to do, we can hit this. Um, we're going to need to see if it's fairy, poison, or fire. I, I assume it's fairy, yeah. So, Terra Fairy, that makes sense. This Moonblast is still going to hit pretty hard. Because it is Terra Fairy. was a crit. Oh, that hurts. And we get the Spitak drop. Oh no. Not like this. Not like this. Okay. Maybe Scarf? Is he Scarf? He's gotta be Scarf. Okay, well... I don't want to take... That, that crit actually really hurts. Oh, that crit really hurts. Okay, well, it looks like we're going for Sneasler early. Okay. 
So we do show that we are psychic seed. Um, so I'm going to calc this because let's see if he's, if he's max modest terra fairy. We still live this. Um, Hmm. What do I want to do here? Because I think Floor just gets one of the new psychic moves. Does he risk this? Yeah, it gets psychic noise. We dire claw here. We have to. We have to dire claw here. If I SD'd. If I SD'd. Armin, what is this? Oh, this is the Ooxie. Okay. What did we... Uh, we don't... Even if I SD'd there, I wouldn't have killed. Um, I think we have to go for a Shadow... Do we go for a Shadow Claw crit? Or... Do we go for a Dire Claw hit? I think we go for Dire Claw, like, sleep, maybe? That would be great. Dire Claw sleep would be awesome. Shadow Claw crit, does it kill? I don't think Shadow Claw crit kills. I think we go for Dire Claw here. He rocks. Okay. Yeah, I guess he did not think we were gonna we were gonna sack this. He clicked rocks. Oh my goodness. Okay, well that is a little rough. Ooh, we're living that. Even in terrain. Oh, we're plus one. That's right. Um, I forgot we were plus one. <laughs> I forgot we were at plus one spe uh, spadef. I should have SD'd. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? Okay, so Rotom comes in. That's fine. So Rotom gets a helmet kill. That is okay. So this is a little rough, but we have good chip on a lot of things here. Um, we get to, I think we get to come in on this in DD. I think we come in here in DD. Muck is still alive, which is not great because that's kind of the check to this. Um, or no, and a better idea. Let's start getting let's start getting some hazards up. Or some not hazards. Let's start getting some um screens up. Muck yourself. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. That's funny. Um, We click reflect here. He might brick break. We're going to see. He should have brick break on this. Okay. Well, this all... Honestly, the, <laughs> the fact that Goodness, I oh my goodness, I didn't creep this. Oh, I I fucked up hard. I fucked up hard with this, yo. Oh my goodness. This is so bad. <laughs> I am Yeah. I'm all over the place, y'all. Okay, we DD here. This thing does not kill us. Okay, Rotom comes in. That's fine. We get to DD pretty freely. Um, the real question is, what is Rotom doing to us? Oh, 
I'm gonna DD again. Fuck it. We gotta try to win this. No T wave. It crit too. Wow. Well, I got greedy. But that might not have killed us. Um, <laughs> that might not have killed us without the crit. That crit is rough. Um, that crit is very rough. We might get 6 0 The crit definitely hurts. Um, we have to CM here. Oh, that's so fucking frustrating. The crit there is very frustrating. That is a very, very frustrating crit. <laughs> um, we're about to get 6 0 I think. I think we are about to get 6 0 Um, Wow. That... You know, sometimes sometimes that's what happens, I guess. Um Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm pretty annoyed by that. I'm not gonna lie. That crit might have mattered. Cause we had rolls to live that foul play even at plus two. That crit might have mattered. Holy sh... What is this, yo? <laughs> and we get poison touch. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are... I don't know if I've had a game this unlucky in a little while. <laughs> this is... This has been a this is this has been a game. This has definitely been a game. What am I gonna do? <laughs> the roll there, yo, that is I I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. That roll as well was just absurd. Um, well, we have to spin. I I can't even believe that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm in awe. I am in awe of what just happened. 100% in awe. Like it was damn good prep on his part, but like. Turn three Moonblast crit when I definitely would have lived two. Um, foul play crit. Um, I think we we just knock here. And he hits the Hydro Pump. We just got 6 0 <laughs> That is... Wow. That's the most unlucky... Wow. That is the most unlucky game I think I've played. Um, I'll catch y'all next week. We're probably out of playoffs. Um, take it easy, everybody. Peace.